shop be sparking and rushing mad like inside the dark. Call me no snatcher, just a brother for the rapture. I hang lines, hold it on strong, hard to capture. Extravagant, resurrect the track and it's militant. And I react like a con and start killing. It's manifesting, the guards work like appliances. Dealing in my sleep like a lot. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Naruto Explain here, bringing you guys another discussion for Boruto, Naruto Next Generations, the manga. And for anime only fans, this is the time I'm up for it. A lot of the content that we talk about here on the channel is me spoiler heavy, so I thank you for your support. However, if you're still here, I'm assuming you guys are all caught up with the manga and you do not care about me talking about spoilers. And I'm also going to assume that you've already hit the like button because hitting the like button is an easy way to donate some chakra to Sasuke. And as you guys know, in the Boruto era, Sasuke is almost always running out of chakra. So make sure to hit the like button because one like is one piece of chakra for Sasuke. So with that being said, let's get right into the actual discussion. So diving right into it, I want to talk to you guys about what I think is the definite possibility of what's getting ready to happen. I think that Boruto is about to regain consciousness from Boruto Shiki. And real quick, we do have a post-production edit. This is me recording after my editors already sent me the video. As you can tell from the receipts on the screen, I sent the audio off on December 18th or 19th and i began getting a batch of videos done by my editor during this time this is one of the drawbacks of me sitting on content until the 15th of every month it's a conscious decision that i make because the first half of the month is solely for anime only fans to have content not everybody reads the manga so now that we've explained all that let's just get back to the video I'm gonna tell you why I feel so confident in this. On a scale from one to 10, I'm gonna give this an eight. I think that we're getting a strong possibility that Boruto is gonna regain consciousness, especially after his attack almost was used to try and destroy Naruto. So when Boroshiki is in the situation where he's attempting to start snapping the limbs of Kawaki and Shikamaru uses the shadow paralysis jutsu in order to stop him. We get this moment where Boruto just starts absorbing the Shadow Paralysis Jutsu. And it's because of that moment right there where Boroshiki is starting to absorb the Jutsu. I think that the seeds are already planted. Because as we know, based off of the Sasuke versus Boroshiki battle, that Boroshiki was trying to do everything possible not to absorb any type of ninjutsu because the chakra could be used as a way to wake up Boruto in the consciousness. Now, right now, things are a little bit different. We are in a situation where Boruto was fighting. He was throwing a lot of chakras, so you could argue that Momoshiki's in control right now because Boruto had exhausted enough of his chakra and the pills gave him the window and the pills weren't working the way that Amato had hoped. You could make that argument, and I think it's sound. However, I think that those pills, I don't think that we're completely done with them yet. While they were meant to curtail the Osuskeification, and Amato said that they might work, and in a best case scenario, it would only temporarily slow down the Osuskeification, I think that those pills still got a little bit juice left in them. And I think that because Boroshiki absorbed Shikamaru's Shadow Paralysis Jutsu, and because of the emotional impact that's going to be coming from his Jutsu used to attack Naruto, Boruto could start the process of waking up. I think that for dramatic effect, it's not going to happen right away. But I think that that's just enough chakra. If Shikamaru was using enough chakra to try and restrain somebody as strong as Boroshiki, I think that you could make the very strong argument that Shikamaru's Shadow Paralysis Jutsu had more chakra in it than Kawaki's Fire Release. It didn't take a lot of chakra from that Fire Release for Boroshiki to start ceding control to Boruto Uzumaki. And while Boruto is further along in Osuskeification and Momoshiki was in greater control this time around, I think that that's ultimately what's going to turn this around because you don't have the character Ada freaking out like this in the narrative impact only for the gag reasons. Like I talked about in my review and like I talked about in my video on Ada's obsession with Boruto, while she is being used as a cake woman and her freaking out over so many people on the battlefield and 
her not being able to get her hands on Kawaki, all of that was a nod towards the cake woman. It was triple speak by Masashi Kishimoto. He said a lot of different things hidden behind just the plain translation. While that was the case, I think that there was a little bit more here. I think that this was also setting up the fact that eventually Code's going to be in the worst case situation where it's Shikamaru and it's Naruto fighting against Code. It's Kawaki in this new Karma Seal transformation state that he has. And then Boruto's regained consciousness of his body and is no longer in that Boroshiki transformation. That's going to be way too many people for Code to actually battle. And I think that that's ultimately what's going to make this character have to retreat. I just strongly think that the narrative seeds have already been planted there. And this is the one thing that makes the most sense that Boruto... While in that Boroshiki transformation, having absorbed the Shadow Paralysis Jutsu, is now in a situation where Boruto's now beginning to start waking up. I just think that it's going to take a little bit longer, but I think that that's where we're going narratively because that's the only way that this fight ends in a way to where you don't kill off somebody like Shikamaru, you don't have Naruto kill it off. Right now, the deck is stacked way too heavily against Naruto and Shikamaru, and really just against Naruto, because you got Borshiki, you got Kawaki using a power that Kawaki is still figuring out himself. We don't know if this is going to be a temporary power-up. We don't know if this is going to be a long-term power-up, but Naruto still has to fight against Code, and Code right now has leverage. So it is one of those things where when you add that in and you add in the possibility of Sasuke joining in, there needs to be more done in order to level the playing field and ultimately cause Code to retreat. I think it's still a little bit too early for Code to be taken out. I still believe that if Code does end up getting taken out, it's going to be by Ada. And I think that it's going to be after he gets his limiters taken off and after he serves whatever purpose that Ada needs him to serve. But this reeks of something where right now the stakes are being raised against the heroes, but there's a backdoor trap card ready to be played. We've had too much foreshadowing in the fact that Code was already playing around. Code has a line where he's thinking about, okay, so this is how Boro was defeated. Code has been warned multiple times, do not play around. Finish the fight early. Ada has shown getting super pissed off with him, and now everybody's made it to the battlefield. You still have the Sasuke Uchiha wild card that is out there. Sasuke has not come to the battlefield yet. There's so much here to where the only thing that's left in order to definitively make this a can-lose situation for Code is to have Boruto regain his power, regain his consciousness, and have Boruto be able to be the one that maintains the Boroshiki form and start fighting on that higher level or even fighting closer on that level of what he was when Boruto was fighting against Code before Naruto and everybody showed up. So it is one of those things where narratively the signs and the breadcrumbs are there. I think that when Code finally gets back to Boro's hideout and he gets to talking to Ada, Ada is absolutely going to be livid. She's going to be chewing this dude out, not in the way that Code is hoping. When Ada opens up her mouth, this dude is not going to be getting the pleasure he thinks he's going to be getting. And it's going to be one of those things where Code is going to be hearing from Ada constantly that if he just would have followed instructions and ended the battle quickly, if he would have stopped playing around and stopped underestimating ninjas, that we would not have gotten to this situation and that their failure to capture Kawaki was Code's fault. But I think that all of this is dependent on Boruto regaining his consciousness. However, I want to know from you guys, how do you guys feel about this? Do you guys agree with me? that Boruto is going to be in the process of starting to wake up in the next chapter or so? Do you guys think that Shikamaru used enough chakra in order to start that process of Boruto waking up? Or, or do you think that that Shadow Paralysis Jutsu wasn't enough? Let me know down in the comment section below. But as always, guys, if you like anything I had to say, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching until then. Have an awesome day, guys.